head bang. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is okay. how I die. This is how we all die. This is how the campaign ends. Everybody dies from a tank explosion. <laughs> Sounds oh, a lot like it's it's steam power. Idea. Sounds a lot like only war, actually. Yeah, seriously. How is it? How is it's powered by steam. I don't think it's gonna no, blow up like, like that. Actually, like the shell is gonna explode. The okay. shell is gonna explode if it. And then there's gonna be like so many. Oh crits. yeah. So if, yeah, if you get a crit one, yeah, it might new, detonate inside the hull, and then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But again, you know, it's, um, it come on, she's a good off. enough engineer where she's going to make it so if it does go off inside, it's not going to damage the whole insides. Yeah, but we got lucky last time. I, I don't yeah. want to take the chance. <laughs> true, very true. <laughs> well, you got to take the chance because, you know, it's a horde of undead and you have to clear the way. With ca Cannon is probably the most efficient weapon to do so. Oh, yeah, that I'm going to do for sure. I want to see those bastards blow up, but... Yeah, how are we going to travel anyways? If you're going to okay. go by tank... Well, I'm not I'm going to... that direction. Yeah, but how the hell Somewhere am I supposed to travel? So I'm going to stick with Annabelle wherever Annabelle's going. So speaking of which, <laughs> I just came in to deliver the report and to say hi to Troik, and the truck's like, get away from me! <laughs> Asshole. Okay. It's like, look, when you've had what I have to deal with, then you could, you'll could you understand my pain. We could always, we could always demote him okay. in life. Oh. You could, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, that is possible. I mean, what did that do? Again, it's like it's inciting insurrection among the people. They respect Troy. And then the undead come and the undead, come, yeah, and and the undead come and wipe the rest of us out. It's <laughs> no, it's like, like no, 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 here's what would problem. happen. We'd have our own... No, no, but what would happen is we'd have our own civil war, and then the Again, undead okay, come Okay, anyway, what happened to Annabelle? Where'd she go? <laughs> Another civil war. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Annabelle? Where did she go? The, 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 divi the divided oh, lords awesome. shall live again. <laughs> yeah, so, right there. I mean, we already lost one, so. Yeah, we already anyway, had one. Anyway, we're back to Annabelle. Um, yeah. She's pretty much just both A, not letting the person that she just saved out of her sights. Okay. And be preparing to go on the mission to go talk to the rock elementals. Wait, are you talking South Heart of Fury? <laughs> no, the rock elementals. The Kafopu is gonna. You haven't I talked with Kafopu talk. yet. I talked to him a while ago. Okay. Well, what about? I mean, just refresh my memory because I don't remember any of this. <laughs> well, before I was going to save her, um, I was going to go off and um, talk to some rock elementals that were still resisting in the east, I think. Okay. Might east. Yeah, some of the few. Yes. The, well, the earth itself is trying to fight back against the undead. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much what I'm preparing for. Well, I mean, she has a name, you know, and she, I think she's willing to to tell her. She's never told me a goddamn yeah, name. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> That's the point. You keep on asking, but she never she says. Keeps on asking, doesn't tell. Uh, okay, well, I'm working on her, like at the moment. So. He's currently browsing for the right picture. <laughs> Yeah, currently. So, I mean, for one, she finally decides to remove her helmet and show you, you know, what's under the helmet. Because remember, she never actually showed. I've already seen that. Oh yeah, you've seen like that. Oh yeah, the red-haired kind of a. Like, for one, she's not from around here, like at all. She's actually from the far east. I mean, she was a. The short order is she was a corsair before she was this. So. Ooh. Wait, so she can shoot? So she retired. So it was one of those, she had a crisis of conscience. It was one of those, alright, so I lived most of my life as a privateer, as a pirate. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, so, but you get to a point where it's like, alright, what's the point? I do the same thing over and over again. I guess she just got bored with it. And she didn't feel like, alright, I can't even wander into town without having to watch my back. 
So she gave up her identity, she gave up her who she was, and she became a town guard. And then at least now she can walk the streets. She, she still didn't feel right about it, but at least now she can wander the streets and not have to worry about getting killed all the time. But that then she realized, but wait, now I have to worry about the next part, which is... No, now I have to worry about dying in battle because it's part of guard duty. Is <laughs> so now she just wants to retire, but she realizes it's too late. I can't. Just, um... That seems about right. In fact, that actually does fit her personality. So despite her being a pirate, I mean, she is pretty brave. She will put herself into harm's way. I'm trying to look for one that's not as, uh... Not as cliche. Yeah. It's kind of difficult. Well, there was one I was trying to grab, but I didn't want to go. I think I'd, I think I'd have one, but I don't know if it would work out. Okay, you, go. <laughs> it's like, no, what? it won't go. <laughs> Heck no, it won't go. So yeah, that's her history. There we go. Okay. So she's just kind works. of a fair-haired, somewhat yeah. arrogant. Well, she's not arrogant at all. I mean, she's learned humility over Is basically a long term. I mean, she, if we must paint her history, she's been doing this for most of her teenhood. Like, since she hit the age of 13, she's been a pirate. How old is she now? She is like 35. So she should speak with a sailor swagger. Yeah, she's only been a guard for like five years, so how she spent a good 15 years of her life as a pirate. And Wait, I mean, being a female she, pirate's even worse. Does she speak like a sea shanty? Does she speak in sea shanty? No, she spent a lot of time trying to get rid of that because you know anything that would lead someone that from her past to her, she had to remove. So uh, she had to right. uh, she had to completely remove her identity almost. Huh. And she still has, like, you know, since she was in the desert, she didn't get the superior guard training, so her armor and stuff didn't change. It actually gets downgraded because, you know, she, she's in pretty rough shape from last time. So her name is long and complicated, I won't bore you with the details, but you can call her Chi. So... Her whole name is Chi Muuko, but still, that's like... <laughs> What? It could be a little hard to try and say that a hundred times over, so we'll just How avoid doing that. <laughs> well, you got your companion now. Yep. Let's see. Now, if it would stop doing that. All right. So, and she's a bit like she's not. You can tell she's not herself. She's not really been saying much since she got back. This is why I'm not letting an eye off her. Yeah. You can't even tell if she's grateful if she's being saved. I mean, I mean, like, uh, in a way, you think like something's wrong with her mind. Something happened to her while she was there. She's not willing to talk willing about to it talk yet. About like, okay, and uh, one of the other problems is she lost most of her armament. So, well, from her guard duty, because you know they—that's one of the things they do when you get captured by those creatures. They make sure you have no implement to fight back. All you have is your natural... All you have is... You have nothing. You have no weapons. Nothing. So... And that is her story. I mean, she she's talked enough. She gave you the story, but I mean, that's all she's willing to give you. Okay, now I have to copy new code. So... Like, now she's she's gone with standard sword and shield... She's not going into more advanced weaponry now. Is her sword a cutlass? Hmm? Sword and cutlass. Uh, I, there's no cutlasses around here, so she just re-equips herself with whatever the guards can provide, which is sword and shield. Damn. <laughs> if she can, if you can head back to the east, maybe she might have some contacts. Otherwise, no. Like uh, Does she again. Be, she uh, remember she was in. She's in hiding. She. She got rid of any personal heirlooms that she might have had that would have linked her back to piracy or anything like that. So who wants to fight alongside a pirate army? I do. <laughs> I mean, I fought Grimoire. That's if she can get them on your side. 
It's a big if. Big if. That'd be, That'd be that would be awesome, like just getting to see these undead ships versus pirate ships. It's like, <laughs> fire the killer! Okay. You're kill gonna have that problem. Really though. I think the worst there. you have to really think of the ramifications. Like you know, if you go down in the ocean, you could drown, and that could be it. Just, you gotta yeah. be prepared yeah. when you go to the to the well, sea, because there are plenty work. of more. There are probably more ways to die in the ocean because you're not water creatures. Last I checked. Well, better start uh, learning how to not swim. Not waterproof then. either. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Better start learning how to swim then. <laughs> Even saying sans you and like think of your most of your standard equipment as heavy armor or medium armor, things that sink. <laughs> well, better not drop into the water yeah, then. Don't, don't, don't fall in the water. Fall. But I mean, that's that may not be your decision because sometimes it's, oh hey, guess what? Your ship just went down. So now you're, on, hey, guess what, lifeboats. the water is coming to you. We've still got lifeboats, come on. <laughs> yeah, but that's if they're intact. Again, chances, chances. Alright, true. Alright, I am almost done updating the assets. I am giving... So the only one who knows, like, Annabelle's the only one that knows this. Because Annabelle's the only one she's willing to confide in. Okay, so you should thinks... have full command of the asset now. Yeah. Plus, you can see the, test the abilities. I want to see if they work. It's probably going to say the whole name. Okay, there you go. So, cool. They work. Uchi Muuko. Yeah. Uchi Muuko. But, you yeah. know, she just prefers Chi, Chi, so... That's not even her name. That's just something she came up with. Okay. She doesn't even remember... Like, it's been five years since she used her actual name, and so she doesn't care to remember. <clears throat> you know, she left that life behind, and now she left the life of a guard behind. Now she's an adventurer. <laughs> Because, you know, <laughs> her entire career as a guard is over. For all intents and purposes, Troy wrote her off as, you know, killed in action. And she didn't rescind that in any way. It's like, alright, well, I guess this is a new start. Hmm. It's like, what does she care? I mean, just uh, she's already lost her identity. What's losing her identity a second time? And Squirtle so the people who do know, I mean, like, the guards know that she's not, like, for record's sake, she's killed in action. For actual sake, every guard knows she's not dead. So, it's really just for anyone who asks, say, you know, this person's been killed in action. It's kind of like, almost a nod that, you know, you're trying to hide, so, you know, if you're, if you're, this is just another scapegoat. You've been killed in action. Yeah. Uh, Grimwall, why are you riding Squirtle? <laughs> I don't... I'm not riding Squirtle. Okay, what? well, you... Or where are you guys... Where were you guys heading? Um... I think... To go see Kafoko. Okay, so... Is Squirtle even in the zone? Yeah, so... You know, Squirtle never just leaves your side. He just... He's wandering like, he's wandering in. in. He's got kind of a bright expression, if such creatures have a bright expression, because I guess he feels like, you know, hmm. things are back in work. You know, there's some measure of hope in the land. His friends are back. Yeah. Look at him. They're happy. Well, yeah, he, he they already went on an adventure, but she feels like, you know, things are back in the right order. You know, whoever you were looking for has been found. A little measure of hope restored. Hope. So, unlike the rest of us, the Squirtle is a simple creature. He can appreciate a little bit of hope more than other people. He can appreciate sure. the small things. <laughs> yeah, so he, appre like, he appreciates the small things. And so Pei, Pei can't really go anywhere, because she's stuck doing your job, Annabelle. So at least it gives her something to do. And so, like, the door, like, uh, you're arriving and the door opens, and Kafope was in there, Pei's in there, and it's like, you know, I'm really going to have to find someone to do this job, or I'm probably not going to be the court wizard. Whichever one of those comes first. Yeah, it is... Really, really annoying. It's like, I also see that you found Chi. I know she's in a bit of a bad state, but she's a tough one. She'll get over it. I hope so. It's like, uh... And so, Kofopu hasn't said a thing. and He doesn't seem to be. Like, he's off, and it's like, oh, don't mind him. He's been in a trance for a while. I need him. We need to go see the Earth. It's like, I've been trying to wake try. him up, but that trance is pretty deep. I just touch him. Okay, so. And so his eyes snap open, it's like, ah, you've returned. 
I see. Yes, now we have to leave. Okay. It's like, ah, yes, and, and so, like, he, he materializes back, because he was in, like, his arms were missing, and he was just kind of floating as a ball of sand. Oh. <laughs> so now he materializes back into a form, and he starts walking out. It's like, yes, uh, I guess that time is upon us now, isn't it? He became his basis. He became his basic form. It's the easiest way to commune with the sand is to be sand. <laughs> yeah, so, That's cool. That is cool. Like, uh, I haven't had much contact with our forces to the east. I am concerned. Let's hope there's some left. Yes. Okay. Um, it's like, uh, it's like, you uh, do realize this may turn sour. That they may have fallen, and it will be up to us to kill them. Well, let's just hope it doesn't come down to that. Let's say, and what if it does? Are you then, willing to do what must be done? Don't underestimate my kindness. It's like, uh, and it's like, he kind of does a, a chuckle. It's like, you know, for a creature that was born to end the greatest evil, you still have a problem with ending the lives of a few innocents. Mm. Any death is bad. And so, and he like nods, it's like, hmm, yes. And that is why you are the hero and I am not. Oh, the hero. Don't underestimate yourself. You've got a hero in you. It's like, no, I am simply a leader. I'm a, a leader must be humble. You are not a leader. You are an adventurer. You are, right? You are... You do not lead yet. Seems like I'm going to be put in that position sooner or later. It's like, and, and he shakes your head. It's like, no one will force you to lead. Leaders, ch leaser, leaders are self-chosen, not chosen by others. You could say you could no say. when they ask you. It's within your power. That's just something I can't do. Okay. It's like, <laughs> and he kind of raises, he raises a hand. That's like, uh, sooner or later, it will be. Like that, so, anyway, we so. need to gather any others that are coming with us. So it's um. Where are you going exactly? Apparently, we're all going to the east. Then I get uh -oh. your ride. Yeah, I get so your ride. So as like, and if, are you gonna actually team up with anyone else, or are you just gonna? Is everyone gonna go on a solo op and just all alone? I mean, we're technically going the same direction, so might as well okay. hitch a ride. So what is Grimall is Grimall gonna hitch? Okay, <laughs> that's the <laughs> key <laughs> words there. Grimall's Seven's gonna, gonna hitch a ride. <laughs> Seven's not gonna let me. Like he's just standing. there. Yeah, he's not gonna out. let you on the tank. So yeah, he just stands there with a thumb out, waiting for Squirtle to come by, and then so... he just rides on. <laughs> Both of you roll a D100 and see who gets the higher roll. Okay, yes. so Grim, no, not you, <laughs> not Seven. I'm talking about Annabelle. Oh. So obviously he's not gonna let you on the tank. Now nope. okay. Grimmall, Grimmall, like you're gonna jump on Squirtle, and then you just see Grimmall just sitting on the side, <laughs> like, uh, like you just see, well, okay, what are you doing while you're on there? Like you're, you're kind of sitting and you're doing some sort of maintenance, but what are you doing? He's whistling. Okay, <laughs> so you hear a whistle from the side, and Annabelle, you just look over. Hey Grimmall, you going east? Yep. Thanks for the ride. Didn't even <laughs> ask. <laughs> eh, yeah, he likes me, doesn't he? And then he pets Squirtle. Yeah. And Squirtle. Squirtle's like, Because <laughs> he knows you. I mean, he knows all of you. Or at least the adventurers, anyway. So, And he doesn't, unlike you, he doesn't really care about, like, personality. Like, because everyone's kind to Squirtle, so he's kind to turn. <laughs> of course. All right. So that's the so, problem. That's the problem you have, Annabella. So you know, it's just because you don't like him doesn't mean Squirtle doesn't like him. <laughs> I have your pet now. <laughs> you don't have your this pet. It's I mean, just, I mean, I mean uh, that's uh, so long as you keep the niceness, niceties, yeah, and you keep feeding. I mean, your pets. I mean, your pets' good graces, graces now. <laughs> you still have that favor you gotta spend. 
Yeah, I'm gonna spend five hundred yeah. for a level up I'll and so. get my veteran upgrade. Yep. Yes. Speaking of which, yeah, we did not get that for. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna. I already put your level ten in. Okay. Let me, and then you worry about. You get a skill point and you get a level upgrade, or you get Ooh, a, a nice. DU. So. Yep. And I. Why does this seem get... oddly wrong? What does? I think I may have done the point math wrong. Hold on. You start with 80, right? 80? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you start with 80. And then you start at level 1, and then you get 9 level ups, and that's 90 points. So, I think... I think uh, this math is off. I think I'm missing 10, so... Yeah. Put 10 the total you should have is 170. 80, 80, that's 160. So that means... So that means um, no, that means uh, zeros points are off by 10. Zeros or mine? Zeros. Oh. What, what do you mean off by 10? It's off by 10. It's So you have 180. You should have 170. So that reduces your sludge hammer's impact damage. <laughs> but uh, 10. You were 10 points over. That's what the math says. But it had two levels, right? Yeah. Wait, so you, so you should be level 11, not 10. Yeah. Okay, so I was wrong. So it was. It's really more my fault. I was wrong with that. That's why I was questioning. Like, wait, right, well, have... let's put it back then, and oh, let's yeah. undo everything I just did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm gonna create a quick macro just for, uh, yeah, for survival. For survival. For survival. Like... All right. So. Yeah. It's super easy now. Just... Yeah, pretty much. We have the new code scheme. Could um. Let me just copy it. Like when you. Let me just copy it into one of your abilities. You could change your name out too. It's called selected character name. Then you can Ooh. simply because you always have to click your character to roll a macro, right? Yeah. So that's what you can do now. Instead of having to write the name Grim Mall, now you can just put selected character name, and then it'll automatically do that. Nice. Now that's this nice. will be more interesting because you know what else we could use that for? All the abilities. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so we can actually replicate the same code for characters as well, making extra character creation easier. Nice. So now everything just got easier again. There is only maybe one problem with that. What? That if you want to be If you want to roll without the character, without selecting the character, then good no, luck. You can't. If you select one of your other characters, then you can do yeah. this. What do you mean? What did you just do? I rolled an ability on Saints. Okay. But I did How? it with the character sheet. I had also selected the character sheet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have my character sheet open. So okay. I can see my macros and my abilities. Oh, really? That's the, well, you don't roll it like that, then. That's just no, you being foolish. <laughs> That's, that's you doing technical errors, which is you're just you're rolling it from your page, but you're well. How many chances? How many times we don't roll from the page? Like no, I know. Like so, why it's not a problem then? Because we don't roll from the page. Mm, well, <laughs> I know it's an error, but it's like stop. Yeah, Close, man. not quite. <laughs> <laughs> now the sad part is it's gonna say your whole name. Like that's the reason why it did it. Is because I had to, you guys so you could change your name without having to worry about all that bullshit. All right. So it's on your first code now. So let me actually just roll it. Oh wait, I don't have to. I could just select a character. So I think it's ballistic skill. You have a target modifier. No. You do a. You could. Do... Oh yeah, you for your modifier you have to type in the damage type. So like holy. Yeah. Why does that? Did do. you take out your first name? What? No. Old Glory Grimmall. It didn't Grimmel. save. It said Old Glory Grimmall. Oh, it only it uses the character name. So if it says Grimmall on the character that you're selecting, it'll say Grimmall. It doesn't say your full name. Oh, that's easier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. the token's name. Yeah, it's the token's that's name. That's the token's awesome. name. Yeah. Makes it easier. Everything's so wait, easier how come now. this one doesn't say Chi then? Hold on. Yeah, it says the whole name for that one. That's strange. Oh, because it's... Oh, wait. Cause it's, that doesn't make sense. Hold on, let me... 
Okay, so your your commerce is not been it hasn't been modified okay. yet. Thanks, I don't man. understand. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, well, I got survival now, so thankfully I'll be able to pick myself up. Did you write your whole name in your character sheet? No, you didn't in your character. Okay, so your character name did not. You're like you may have the. You actually just rewrote it as Grimmall, so. Yeah, it's just Grimmall. That's yeah. that's his only. You don't have the, the first. That's okay. So why did I add the? Why does your file have the uh, the full name then? What full name? Wardus Grimmall. Oh. Dude, uh, should I rename that Grimmall? You, no, because you are. People should know his first name. Okay, there you go. Okay, so it's just on your folder. Dude. Well, right, then I have to change that, because remember, they can go in the folder <laughs> right. and look at you. Okay, fine. Just change it to Grimmall then. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you know, everyone knows now, because it's actually on the, it's on the YouTube. It's supposed to be Wardus Grimmall <laughs> in, in there. No, no, Mortis Grimmall. <laughs> It's supposed to be the official name whenever he goes on. Yeah, Bounty, that's uh, that, game, but that's also the name that's on the banner for the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, everyone knows now, like it or not. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I forgot that that name was supposed no, to be it's, private. It's fine. It's it's not even private name. It's more of a. It's that's his, his surname. Name. It's surname. More well, it's the. I had to the, each each person had to have a two part name. So. Like um, Doctor Seven, Annabelle Finch. Yeah. Baines. Like he's Baines supposed to actually be. Uh, name. <laughs> we just know you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah we just know Doctor Seven. I mean, it rolls off the tongue. Why would we need to know the full name? No, it's like, look at <laughs> like, the picture. Um, no, Sains used picture. to be Spy Master Sains, but I guess now he's Sains Crawford. But you guys can't know his last name because he hasn't told you. He's just still just Sains to you guys. You don't care what his title is. Just you still Sains. Well, we got Protector Whereat now yeah. too. So yeah. I'm still just Whereat. That's just it. Had to have a two-part title. Oh, like a, 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 a first name and a surname, but yeah. sometimes it's just a name and a, it's just a, <laughs> the surname is just a or the uh, the first name is just a title, yeah. and the surname you know your actual whoever you are. You know what I also noticed when I was looking at the YouTube page, our names are written in Comic Sans. Yep. Uh, that's the point. It's, <laughs> That's the... it's one of the most hated names on not not names. But it's one of the most hated fonts in the world. So. Yep, that's why it's that way. <laughs> will you <laughs> will you look beyond the most hated font in the game in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to change it if it gets too much of an issue. But yeah, so. Uh, that's fine. You For can now, read it, can't you? We can read it. Obviously, it's just the fact that but. you know nobody's. We don't have that big of an audience yet, so nobody's really yeah, complaining. Who cares? And just half yeah, the time, it's like, uh, we'll record a bunch of stuff, and if they decide to wander in and see, oh, man, this guy's been going on for, like, a year or so. <laughs> All right, so, no more preamble. You guys are just going to bounce out. Where yep. is where at coming? Or is he just going to stay there? Did you say Am where I coming? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I'm going to follow Annabelle. So, <laughs> you guys are, so, Grimmall's there, and then I just kind of lean out from behind the building. Alright, buddy. Alright, guys, let's go on an adventure. Da, 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 da. So... Yeah, sit on the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> let's say, let's do a D3. Who? So, ah, oh, what? <laughs> it's like, no matter what I roll, Annabelle is still the leader anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's me, then you, Jeez. then Annabelle. And it's Annabelle is apparently. Annabelle's the one everyone will follow because she's got a 3 out of. Because in terms of popularity, three of the five, pe uh, three of the six people, actually four, including me, are following her lead. So the only one who's I not actually, yeah, <laughs> the only one who's not following your lead is Grimmel. Just uh, kind of five. Yeah. So, yeah. so five out of six five. are following your lead. Just hitching a ride. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and Grimmel's just hitching a ride. So in short, you have the whole party in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Well, I, uh, 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 I got the so whole party in the palm of my hand. Okay, so let me grab that. I'm gonna go to the world map real fast, and I'm gonna. The world map got so large, I actually had to do like a red bracket line so we can actually find where the center of the map is. <laughs> That's because the map is anymore. so huge, I can't find it otherwise. Big. That's um, not even the center anymore. Yeah, it is. Well, okay, not the, okay. We, you don't have to be a smartass all the time. It's like, yes, you're right. It's not the center anymore. Okay, so look at the top the... left, if I remember correctly. All right. Well, we won't go to the world map just yet because not everybody has gone there yet. I'm just getting rid of the sub elements. 
All right. Uh, so we're all. So who's next is Doctor Seven and Sains. Doctor Seven, are you also heading to the east with us? You're like, you never travel with us. You travel in your own little environment. Yeah, yeah there's like a turtle walking, walking along and attack <laughs> inside it. That's like choo so, choo, motherfucker. He's he's gonna go for the bounty. Okay, so and everyone's coming with, even the sand spirit's coming with. She's trying not to touch oh, anything because she'll like degrade it. <laughs> Oh, what it's like she's wanting to, but Frifa just like does a swipe. It's like, don't touch that. I'll fucking murder her if she does. Get that uh, dice uh, and uh, get So on where are you positioned? Like, you know, obviously Strom is going to be on top of the thing. Oprah's in the gunnery deck. Frifa's just the driver. What are you doing? You're just in an observation deck the on the front? You're, You're sitting on the on barrel. barrel. <laughs> okay. And then she's like lounging in... She's lounging in the seat you're supposed to be sitting in, which is the command chair. <laughs> I'm commanding from out front. Yeah, but she's like, <laughs> she's she's like doing de facto orders. Like, well, let's get this tub moving. Uh, so, God. uh, I mean, you've it's been idling for so long that it's it's now just rip. rip. It just lights up. It's pretty damn loud. I mean, remember, Luce has had time to modify the engine, so now it's got more horsepower. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> so, and that's all she's been working on is new specifications for this thing, because it's like her. Not only it's like a joint project now. It may belong to you, but she's working on it, and you're not saying no. So, as long as she doesn't fuck it up, <laughs> yeah. I mean that's and it. So you just kind of just do you feel do a D100. Okay, so you feel a massive jar as the thing starts to get moving. Yeah, it's just all you hear is crawler power. treads. It's moving pretty fast for something so large. Uh-oh. Okay, so. What was the old for? It keeps on locking up every so often. It's not a good thing. All right. It's a, it's my hard drive. I need to replace it. I yeah. have a couple spares that I'm... properly? Hmm? No, it's like three it years old. And it's a disk oh, drive. Shit. Okay, Three years old, man. So I'm just going to try and... Likely I'm going to have to... Because the hardest part is i got a free Windows 10, so... You know, that oh. free upgrade? Yeah, how am oh, I going to... Yeah. Now, how do I put that on another hard drive? Um, That's the hard part. That's question. what I have to go look up. But it's not busted yet, but I can't, like, wait around forever. It should be in your break. backup. In my backup? Or in your DOS. Yeah, it should be in installed in your backup or some shit. Yeah, but it's like, how do I... How do I format another drive with that? Mm, might have to do it through DOS. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the DOS coding. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, no. I'll figure. I'll figure it out. It's not that hard. All right. So yeah. was that everybody? Uh, the only one who's left in town is uh, Lonely Saints. Saints. Yeah. So everybody's left. So you know he's the one. He's the one that's left. <laughs> have you moved positions? Or are you mm. still there? Are you still in the same spot? Everybody grabs onto like a yeah. vehicle and just runs out of there. And <laughs> As everybody the gets their so. contracts to start traveling to the east, what is you doing? You're just chilling. I went to sit under the tree. <laughs> okay. So you're just under the tree. You're relaxing. Yeah. Talking to Osa, though. <laughs> okay. About what? Is she still on his back? Yeah. Well, she swung around to the front when it's like he's put his back to the tree. Of course she does. Um, about the fact that... About what Bay wanted to do last session. Which is? I don't know what she wanted to do, so... Well, she was gonna... He was going to give you the power of in between, which is, you know, which will effectively sterilize you. <laughs> oh, so because being in between means that as part of a, it's right. like she hasn't found a way to, like, you remember, she's been doing this for, for a couple thousand years, and she even she hasn't found a way to still have children as a dragon that's not a dragon, and that's what she <gasps> calls it. Years? Wait, what? A couple thousand years. She's really old. <laughs> oh, shit. she's older than she looks. Think you're dating a milf, man? No, it's not though. So wrong person. 
Pei is a uh, Pei is the the half dragon. Or she's not a half dragon. She's the dragon that's both dragon form and Drake form. Oh, I thought you were you talking know, about Port Wolf. Wizard. You got to pay attention to which one we're talking about. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Oso. And I was yeah, like, Oso's I relatively you. young. In fact, she's younger than than uh, Sains because well. Sains is a couple thousand years old. Okay. Wait, what? Thousands? I don't know. Thousands, maybe hundreds. That's as, as far as you remember. It's hundreds. You could be thousands. Okay, so I may have read on millions. Oh. Thousands millions. is as far as it goes. It doesn't it go like billions. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, pay was gonna give you the power to be in between, but it, like you said, you said no because that would effectively sterilize you, so you can't have children. Along with your magic becomes even more unstable than it is now. I said no because I needed some time. Yeah, so you need time to think. So and you're so you're talking with Oso about that. Yeah. So what is her opinion? Her opinion she doesn't really have an opinion. It's like it's really you know, if that's what you want to do. He's not giving you any hints either way. It's just if that's what you want to do, then that's your prerogative. She even though what is her is she gonna tell you what she it's like even though, you know, she wouldn't mind children, she wouldn't mind having a family. But then she's thinking of the other recourse, which is, you know, we're having a family during wartime. This is not the best time. Well, me becoming a half-dragon isn't the best time. Maybe. And she's going over it and it's like, but then again, there's that one paladin, you know, Dogma. He's starting a family now, and he's starting it during wartime. But <sighs> their main concern is, you know, if you do that, then you're pinned down. You can't go anywhere. You're stuck in the town. Because now you have a, uh, you have to worry about your children. And she, I don't think she's ready for that. I don't think you're ready for to not be adventuring anymore. <laughs> uh, not yet, at least. Yeah. So, so that's pretty much hold off on that. But then again, it's like, do you want that to be permanent, though? Do you want it to be that you can never have children and you'll always be an adventurer? Always adventuring over the waves. <laughs> It's like, her advice is no. Just, you know, that wouldn't be... You know, eventually it has to come to an end. You can't be advantaged. You'll get jaded from it. You'll, you won't will want to do it. It's like, um, what's her example? Her example is, you know, it's like me and killing. You get to a point where you've done it so often that it just becomes pointless. That you start to lose focus and you need something new. So this is, the, if you do this, you'll be stuck as an adventurer probably forever. What's worse is that you'll live longer. So, yeah, just all the all the horror that comes with long life. You'll live long and you won't have anything to show for it. I mean, the only thing you'll have is you exist. And look, Pei is not really... Like, she has some friends, but she's not really respect... Like, maybe by the magic, by the magicians, but most people try to stay away from her. Mm. So it's like, in a way, it's giving you what you want, but at the same time, it's taking from you things that you might want. It's tough to sue. Mm. <laughs> I'm just sunken away in mm -hmm. thoughts at that point. Yeah. The social notice that. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, she, she knows you. She knows what you're thinking, and she's just kind of... She's doing what she usually does. She, like, turns around and she's leaning against you with her back. The one with the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> so, well. it's, um... You know, you don't have to decide now. You can decide when the time is right. I just snap out of thoughts and like, huh, what? Okay. <laughs> and so she like pokes, she like jabs you with one of her talons. Do you actually feel it through your armor, or is it like it's too, it's not strong enough? So yeah, you do feel it through your armor. So you kind of like leap to the, you kind of, you don't leap, but you kind of like jolt to the left. Because she poked you there. It's like, you need to pay attention when I'm talking to you. Oh, I was... Okay. Thinking you were a thinking... little too much. Well, it's like, well, focus on the now for a minute. It's like, you don't have to really... And that's the, the irony here is that she's saying focusing on the now, but she says, don't worry about the problem right now. So mm, there's the I'll irony. I'll try not to. Okay, well... I can at least try to not think about it for a while. Okay. And it's like simpler. Don't think about it. <laughs> it'll come. It'll probably come up again later anyway. Eh, probably. 
It's like, uh, and she's just kind of staring off, like, into whatever upper tree. It's like, you know, from my experience and from what I've been taught about dragons, it's, I guess, this is one of your, in a way, this is one of your paths to Elder Dragon. This choice is that fateful choice, and it's like, um, so she points to, like, in Kroof's direction, it's like, you know, he chose to be a drake, and foregoed becoming a dragon, becoming an elder dragon, because in order to become an elder dragon, you must become a dragon. And it has the same consequences, which is, you know, you can't have children, you can't have a legacy. You are destined to tend whatever element that you said you set out to tame. Why do you think Tiamat lives alone in a temple? Five kilometers <laughs> under the earth. <laughs> uh, well. Well, at least I don't have to decide yet on that. Hmm. So yeah, that's um that's like yeah, even, <laughs> And she kinda yeah. she kinda does a bitter laugh and it's like, you know, really only one choice here says you can have a family. The other two choices say you can't. They say they I can't, but yeah. that doesn't mean that it's actually. It's like, I well, can. tell me how you're gonna beat sterilization, from either one. <laughs> so it's like, because <laughs> that's one of the things. It's like, how do you, when it biologically does this to you and magically does this to you, how do you undo that magic? Because apparently, I mean, other people around. So this is like one of the paths you have to walk alone, because no one else has done it, just you. You'll be the only one. And you have almost no mastery of magic. That's why this wouldn't... This would, ideally, this wouldn't work. Pay has been in the same boat. And in a way, Pei is, will be, if you do that path, Pay you will be a mirror of Pay, which is, you know, you've joined a rank you're not supposed to, you've been sterilized, and you're trying to find a way out of it, but you can't. <laughs> and you're stuck there forever. Uh, well, that's at least the case for now. Yeah, so that's there's been, I, I mean, like, there's there's examples all over the place, and you know most of them, which is, you know, then you go, there goes your mic, then you go dragon, and you'll end up like the elder dragons, where you're all alone, you're supposed to tend some element, you'll be massively powerful, but, you know, <laughs> what does that mean in the end? Hmm. Well, You'll be true. stuck in some temple somewhere, trying to maintain all the elements, or trying to maintain your element. Of course, even that's not working, because apparently that's just, the, even the waters are still becoming corrupted, so the whole maintenance of the water is not working out so well, though, is it? Hmm. Well... I really have to think about this. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yes, you do. Because, you know, in a way, I'm involved in this, too. That's why I don't want to make hasty decisions, especially not on the being sterile. Well, it's like, well, besides all that, what are, what are we going to be doing today? I was thinking on taking a day off, but... Uh, okay. Not really in my blood. Okay. It's like, it's like, oh, what are you talking about? I mean, we just came out of whatever we just came out of. How come we can't take a day off? <sighs> uh, true. Well, and she like taps your side, the the side where you store your favor, and it's like, oh, or is it because you don't have any money anymore? <laughs> uh, a little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a small piece of the reason. Well, you don't have time to really talk because uh, you hear from the top of the tree, well, if you need money, I think I might have something for you. So, never, and Limus was is... in the tree, and you didn't notice he was in the tree. I didn't even, didn't even care to look, so... Yeah, you didn't even care to look. <laughs> so now do you notice that Limus is in the tree, or do you just still in your own little days? Yeah. Probably, yeah. So he, like, leaps down and he's, like, sitting next to the rest of you guys. And then, his, uh, then he's got the wolf, and the wolf is kind of growling, but he's, like, petting it to make sure it doesn't try to maul you. 
It's like uh, he's like he looks at you like sarcastic. <laughs> like he says his head kind of lolls to the right, and it's like I don't think she likes you. Yeah. Well. Who it does? No, it's like, or maybe it doesn't like her. So he points it out. So it's like I'm not entirely sure. Uh, as long as it doesn't attack, then uh, I don't really. Yeah. Care. Well, I can't. <laughs> well, if it does, I can't do much about that. No. Mm. It's like it's and it's like uh, she is well aware that her his wolf's name is Tata. So it's uh, Tata is well aware that if she starts a fight and if shit's gonna lose in her favor, I won't get involved. So she she makes wise decisions based on that. Yeah, well, okay. so well, anyway, what do you have so, in mind? So I have a job for you if yeah. you're willing to take it, since you're so used to going into inhospitable lands and nearly getting killed. <laughs> Well, that all depends on what the job is. It's like you are familiar with the bladed spires. Uh, the path yeah, to get I've been there. Up oh, and here comes the fun and enjoyment. So and then somebody falls out of the tree. I think you know who it is. Hero. Yep. <laughs> uh, did somebody say the bladed spires? Yes, I've been there. <laughs> So, and then Limus, look, like, he lolls his head, he gives a sigh, and he looks at Aaron's like, where did you come from? Icky well, well, well continue with your briefing. I mean, don't mind that I'm here. I'll be a little here, but yes, uh, g go on with what you're saying like I'm, I'm not eavesdropping. <laughs> it's like, well... So he goes back to saying, it's like, well, I got some leads. There's a good chance some of my people, some offshoot people, are still there. Wait. It's like, I don't know I much, then, so he like time. he looks far away. It's like, you know, we don't have much contact with the snow elves. They try and mm. keep to themselves. Try to not be pinned down. I want to see if they're even alive over there, though. I can always take a look. Okay. So he's willing to pay Droll, let's see, what is he, low number, high number? Uh, do a d5. So he's willing to 200 favor. It's a pretty small amount. I mean, he can't supply. He's not exactly wealthy. It's just it's what he has. Two dollars. Two dollars and ninety. Two dollars ninety nine. Come on. Maybe try get something in that region too. I need to. Wait, what? Oh, so you just so you just get up and start walking towards Strike. And then it's like Arrow tries to stop you. Try and resist. Because also still on your front, and so you resist. So Arrow's like got a hand on your shoulder, and then you just resist. But do you like stop, or do you keep going? I stop and look like, wait, just a minute there, Sonny. Wait just a second, just, uh, bad boy. Just there's break. plenty of us. There's plenty of value we can go find from there. Let's see, um, so you know, Uski's still looking for minerals. Maybe you can help him out there. Uh, well, I'm still going to... So, and he, like, he... Let's see. Uh, low number, high number. High number, so... So he's, like, bribing you. He pulls out a pouch and it's got 700 favor in it. And it's like... Uh, and he's, like, doing it in kind of a shady way that says, Oh, I have this pouch of uh, favor. If you think of going that direction, then I come along with you. And maybe if you... Carry on, people. And yeah, <laughs> he's being—he's trying to be subtle, but he's not. He's arrow. He's an old man. He's—he's he's not subtle. Sneaky uh -huh. old man. Yeah. Fail, fails his sneak test. So, then he's got a hand behind him, and Limus just rolls his eyes and puts the other favor pouch. And oh, look, I have the payment for the mission you were thinking of. Uh, <laughs> That's nine hundred favor, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's oh, nine hundred favor. So he's trying to bribe you. Into doing the mission. <laughs> uh, still, I'm gonna ask Troik if he has something in that region so I can take uh, that also. Troik says, no, he, he shakes his head and he starts walking the other way. It's like, I am not getting involved with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, as soon as he looks at you, as soon as you and Troik make eye contact, he starts walking the other way. Uh, well. 
Oh well. So and Limus turns around and he goes back into the tree. Like the arrow turns around, it's like, oh, where'd the elf go? He was he was here a second ago. And he's back in this tree. It's like, oh, and then he looks up. It's like, oh, I don't see him. Nobody does till he jumps down or says something. <laughs> It's like, uh, well, I see we're going on this trip, then I guess I'll make preparations. Uh, So, so did you even notice that he already gave you the favor and it's on your person? Oh, he gave me the favor. (laughs) Yeah, that's a, that's a, do a D100. So, no, so, it's like you, you notice he doesn't have the, the coin purses in his hand, and then you look down and you see that they're both attached to your to your belt already. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I'll make preparations, I'll make sure the two dragonkin are uh, well aware, I will see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, which way is out again? It's... <laughs> it's so do you like, do you like point? <laughs> that direction, and then... It's like, oh, oh yes. <laughs> and right he starts walk. walking that way. And then, and what was I doing again? <laughs> You were going back to the inn to talk with the two dragons you've ah, yes, yes. been okay. living with. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, he, in quote-unquote, he underhanded you. It's like, all right, this is the mission we're doing, but he did it in a way where he's an old man. Uh, well. So he wanders, like, a couple feet outside, and then he comes back, and he, the two dragons are in tow. Like, let's just say I've been talking with Limus already, and that we've uh, let let's just go. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you well, the details later. <laughs> I don't need to hear the details. It's like splendid. Then I will lead on. Wait. It's like um, where are we? Where are we going again? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. Okay. No, I'm serious. Where are we going again? Blade spikes. It's like, ah, oh, yes, bladed spires. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this way, and then he just starts, uh, starts wandering off. The two dragons are like eyeing you with that. Let's see, do a D one hundred. What do you actually notice? They're, so they're praising you, like, a, let's see, in a, in a not so friendly manner. More of, uh, they're trying to judge you based on what you're doing and everything you're doing. So it's kind of that piercing gaze of, you know. <laughs> You might not be doing the right thing in their eyes. I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and then they just they break eye contact and they start walking past the towards the with the arrow. Way. So you're just gonna follow them. Probably. So also his opinion is like, how do you get? How do you? He's like, you make some weird friends. Well, <laughs> and see, but see, like, see, it's like. Yeah. She like taps her head against your head and it's like, is he really your friend? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. He like, might yeah, think and she kind of laughs and it's like, ah, she's, he's just an old man then. Well, he needs some companionship, right? Yeah, true. He's got, he's got these two already. Yeah. Ooh, and you notice that like they're tailing him. They're always they seem to be nearby him. So. So he said, so like he, he stops and they kind of move past and he's like, I know what you're thinking and no, nothing has happened between us. Nothing at all. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. I'm not worrying. Okay. The old I'm man. just worrying that they eventually will pull through with the request that I got. It's like, no, 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 no. They, they are not the type to force themselves upon a poor senile old dragon person. I'm uh, not senile. He says, so he's like, <laughs> it's like, of course you're I not. might be old, but I'm not senile. Okay. Yet. So. <laughs> it's like, well, it all comes with age, doesn't it? It does come with age, well, does it? <laughs> uh, I don't know for dragons, so, so don't like, ask hmm, me. I'll have to, we'll have to do a Q&A session sometime. All right, anyway. <laughs> so it's do like, make- um... <laughs> Doing so, I mean, and they're just calmly just, they they move out of the way, and then they move back behind him, and then they keep moving. 